is up people welcome to the live did i just mute the music see when i have to do it manually it's a bit less smooth than i hope for it to be but nonetheless we are out here on a friday evening maybe the afternoon or even the morning for some of you hey maybe it's middle of the night for some of you guys what's good welcome to the stream how are you doing welcome welcome now you're not doing this ridiculous dj talk before the stream what do you mean, Kevin? I'm out here. We're, we're in here, we're doing this. Um, you can see my face. You can see my face. The stick lasted two streams. Not to say it won't come back though. Dude Perfect, what's up? How you doing? Carl and Toons, hello, hello. Kevin, I see you in there. Newbie, what's good? Or oh, is it Noob? How should I pronounce that? Ali Lax, you just got Red Dead Redemption 2. Nice one, enjoy. Did you get that for PC, PS4, Xbox? Let me know. Foxy, how you doing? Phoenix Voicing, just got done shoveling my driveway. Nice one, nice one. Neo Source, I believe I did. I say hello. I I may have not. Hello, saying gotta love my Wi-Fi. I can only do audio mode now. Well, Neo Source, you get an extra close to the microphone. Welcome from me. Hello, hello. What's up, people? How we doing? Pippin Bam Bam, I see you in there as well. What's good? What's good? Pippin Bam Bam, thanks a lot for the V sub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That DJ talk of hey, how everyone doing? We ready? Bat 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 bat. Beep beep boop boop pow. That talk will never stop. Never stop. <laughs> Phoenix boy saying the ASMR intensifies. Indeed, indeed. But hell yeah, on the five months, pip and bam bam. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're gonna be playing some more Horizon Zero Dawn today. Uh, we reached a pretty key point in the story where I kind of know what the actual point of the game is now. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, but how have you guys been before we get into it? I'm so hungry. Buy me food time ago. Carlin Tunes, I'm very sorry you're so hungry. I'm hoping you can get fed soon. Even though I am called Tamago, which is egg in Japanese, I cannot provide you with eggs at this current time. You will have to go to your local supermarket, which may or may not be closed, depending on what time it is for you. Either way, I'm wishing you the best in your nutrition journey here. Are you going to end up playing Dying Light 2? Um, I mean, I might play it. I might play it. It's, it's, it's potentially, I could add it to the list. <laughs> I have nothing against Dying Light 2, um, and it does look interesting. It's just that I've already got so many games I'm trying to play already, um, that it might just end up at the back of a very long backlog of games I want to play. But, um, I'm hearing good things about it, so I might actually move it up and decide to play it sooner rather than later. What's this link that Kevin has sent me now? Here's a new clip from Uncharted Movie with Tom Holland and Sophia Alley. <sighs> I'm just thinking, I have, to, I have to think, do I want to get claimed today? But you know what? I always get freaking claimed, so whatever, might as well. We'll check that out in a moment. Um, <laughs> Foxy's saying, oh yes, add fire to the car. Wait, to which car? I, I have lost the plot now. Um, eggs for Bart, but no eggs for Carlin Tunes. Wow, I know, I know. It's it's a shame. It's a shame. But Bart gets the eggs. Bart is an international icon. Um, and while Carlin Tunes is very cool, I can't say the same. Sorry, Carlin Tunes. It's nothing. It's nothing personal. You know, if you get on the level of fame as Bart Simpson, then I'll give you some eggs. The amount of games I'd love to play of Simi, but will simply never play anything ever. <laughs> It's just time, man, isn't it? It's just how it is. 
Kevin saying, did you get claimed yesterday? Um, yesterday's stream didn't get claimed. Did we watch anything yesterday that could have gotten claimed? Because all that got, all I remember from getting claimed was uh, the Forza Horizon video, which got claimed four, five times. And one of those claims blocked the video worldwide. Uh, but that video is back up now. So I'm very pleased about that. Um, but yeah, I don't think, I think yesterday was fine. I think uh, we were all good there. Toyota Camry saying, should I play the Tomb Raider games? I've had them all, but never got around to play it. I assume you're talking about the more recent Tomb Raider games, so not the classic ones. I only played the first one. So, uh, was it called Rise of the Tomb Raider? I played that and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. For me, I was playing it because, you know, I was a big fan of the Uncharted games and I was like, yo, I want some more of that kind of action. So I played Tomb Raider and obviously Uncharted was inspired by Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones and stuff like that. Um, oh, did I say Forza again? I meant to say Gran Turismo. I, oh, I always make that mistake for some reason. Um, but yeah, like um, I, I'd say it was worth a play if you're especially interested in them. Uh, and if you've got them already, then why not just give it a go and see if you like it? And if you don't like it, you can stop playing. So yeah. I require you to purchase some eggs for our son, but I partake in the activity of purchasing eggs for our son. Oh, <laughs> I need you to buy eggs for Bart, but I do buy eggs for Bart. All right, 50, cool. <laughs> Bart shall die, bruh. Simi, I was the, Amer I was American the whole time. Burger cell phone, <laughs> soda, McDonald's, KFC surfing, bro. I mean, McDonald's and KFC, while originating in America, I feel like they're so universal at this point. If you had said like, what's like an American black brand strictly? Like In-N-Out Burger, I only hear about that in America, you know, but I guess it's not as iconic as a McDonald's and KFC. Um, the Tomb Raider games are torture porn. I have no idea how that woman is alive. There are some very brutal deaths in that game like one death in particular that has stuck with me is when you're like um you're like in the river and it's really fast flowing water and if you miss time your dodge i think it might have just been a quick time event but if you miss time it i freaking like what do you a log like just a branch a, sh a very sharp branch or whatever goes through lara croft's head and it's just like that was 100% unnecessary. That was brutal. And like, you can see her like, I don't even want to describe it, but if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I just remember seeing that and being like, I never want to see that again. That was brutal to say the least. Guys, we make a GoFundMe to make an animated TV show. Once it's more popular than The Simpsons, we make an episode dedicated to telling Tamago to go get some eggs for Carl and Toons. Phoenix Boy, I would 100% support this. Go for it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, hot take. Far Cry 3 is greater than Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Don't get me wrong. I love Lost, Lost, Lost Legacy. It's just boring. Okay, that's very interesting. So you love Lost Legacy, but it's boring. So what do you love about it then? I can understand maybe finding The Lost Legacy not as interesting. I can understand that. It's a smaller story than Uncharted 4 was. I still had a lot of fun with it. It's not really a game I'm interested in going back and revisiting, though. Um, and yeah, I mean, Far Cry 3 is a fantastic game, but I feel like then they're, they're very they're not really apples to apples when it comes to comparing them. You know, Far Cry 3 is an open world first person survival shooter. I don't even know if you could call it a survival game, to be honest, but first person shooter um, with hunting and crafting elements. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is a DLC expansion. It's just an action adventure story game in the classic Naughty Dog style. Like I enjoyed both of those games, but I feel like they're not, you you can't compare them like that. I mean, obviously you can in terms of your enjoyment level, um, but they're different experiences in my opinion. Um, hear me out, Far Cry Primal is an S tier game. I did not, the only Far Cry I've ever played was Far Cry 3. Um, but I do remember when Primal came out, people weren't happy with uh, how derivative it was of Far Cry 4, if I'm remembering correctly. Like, the map was exactly the same or something. Um, but hey, if you liked it, then hell yeah, let's freaking go. It's more Uncharted goodness, but it's just the same as Uncharted 4. 
Okay, yeah, that's true. It is, you know, just like uh, an expansion DLC type thing. What's your opinion on roguelikes? Like, down well or enter the gungeon? Neosource, could you, like, describe what a roguelike is to me? Because <laughs> I've heard the term roguelike and roguelite. Now, as far as I understand with down well, you know, it's a game where you have to beat it all in one go. So is that is that the first thing? Like, you have to beat it all in one go? Um and it's kind of like set levels but what happens in the levels can be slightly different each time like would you describe binding as isaac as a roguelike game um because yeah i i just feel like i don't know if downwell counts because when, when i hear of binding of isaac it's like the multiple rooms or something like hades but then i look at downwell and i'm just kind of like i don't know Maybe you could count it as a roguelike, but I'm not too sure. Um, roguelikes are for people who are like dying over and over again, but better each time. Okay, the only thing with Downwell is that you don't you you don't increase your skills. Like your as you play the game over and over again, your what you go into the game with is exactly the same. Whereas with a game like Hades, you have improved weapons and all that, so that when you go again, you can do it better. Um, but yeah, I'm not too familiar with like the specifics of roguelikes i will say i played binding of isaac a little bit and i wasn't that into it but i didn't give it a proper chance whereas with hades i was really into that um wait what what is this that kevin has also said uh okay i've got this open <laughs> i've seen this clip i've seen i've seen this clip uh but yeah we'll show it on stream why not um let's see roguelikes of oh i already read that downwell hard mode when listen uh we'll we'll keep that on the back burner yeah give me mod status for free v bucks tempting carlin tunes tempting um let me think about that <laughs> basically you play for a randomized environment and you lose all of your progress when you die right and is there any element of upgrading at all when it comes to roguelikes or is that roguelite specifically returnal then i've got returnal on the list to play is sifu a roguelike i don't as far as i heard i i don't know about that actually i thought it was just like a sort of beat em up type thing but i have no idea carl and tunes thanks for redeeming poster check time ago can you give me kevin's mod so we'll be saved from the trailers <laughs> Um, Piven asking, is it a rogue? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't actually know the details of Sifu as a game. I know it is coming out this month, though, so we'll see about that. But yeah, um, let's check out these clips Kevin sent. And then I want to like, you know, I, I watched a few videos today that I just thought was so... That pause to see me thinking, should I on mod though? <laughs> I watched a few videos today that I just found really inspiring, honestly, and I just want to tell you guys about them. But first, let's see this Uncharted clip from Twitter. I hate the Twitter video player, as I have mentioned in the past, but let's just see what this clip is anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you know, I see that they're trying to incorporate um, Nathan Drake's like cheeky side which is nice which is nice um but yeah like <laughs> it see the vibe was the vibe was nice the vibe was nice um i don't know it's hard to look at an isolated clip i'll just say yeah well, nice clip whatever nice clip uh has drake ever found something archaeologic in a bar well Uncharted 3 starts in a pub. Uncharted 2, there's a scene of them drinking alcohol on like a beach resort type thing. Um, they've been to bars is what I'm saying. Like they've been to places where alcohol is served. Not necessarily to look for treasure. Although in Uncharted 3, the place where they were looking wasn't far from the pub. So, you know, it's not... You know, it's not entirely unreasonable, I'd say. Not entirely unreasonable. <laughs> I don't see why you wouldn't find something archaeological in or around the pub. 
It's true. Some of these pubs be old as hell. For real. Kyo. Okay, let's just see this clip. Um, so the caption is, the moment I heard Pinocchio's voice, it was magical. And then someone says, literally imagined 50 voices in my head before clicking on this and nothing prepared me for this. So yeah, I've seen the video, but let's just, uh, let's just watch it. I don't believe my eyes. Your name will be Pinocchio. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. I... <laughs> is that, is that, it sounds like it was voiced by Drury Graceffa. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny though. Yeah, I saw this. I did see this exact tweet, but it was someone like, um, wait, what was the line he said? Can I leave to be on my own? So what it was, <laughs> was they wrote the text. Um, I want to leave to be on my, and then they put the sparkles around the word own. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't know they'll make a new Pinocchio movie, but yeah. I could do better acting. I mean, it wasn't bad acting. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, to each their own, I guess. But it was just, uh, you wouldn't expect, I, I didn't expect that voice. I thought it was going to, maybe this is a Pinocchio teenage adaptation. I always imagine Pinocchio as like a freaking five-year-old. Simi, you do the line. Let me just, what is the line again? Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got Father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> Pinocchio and he hits puberty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but funny stuff. Funny stuff. I can't believe they made him say that, listen to it, and it got the green light. <laughs> no, it sounds like they walked from down the hall to get Tom from accounting to act like a whiny teenager. <laughs> there are three Pinocchio movies coming out this year. Three, mate? Is one of them like live action or what? What's going on here? Freaking, I don't know, there was this demand for those films, but sure. Um, yeah, okay, I wanted to show you guys a few videos. So, uh, first one is this one by Lena Norms. She's a YouTuber. Uh, she's really good. She does, like, commentary. No, nah, not really commentary. She does, she just does videos talking about different topics. You can call it commentary if you want, but whenever I think of a commentary channel, I think of, like, people who just talk about YouTube drama, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, like, uh, she's talking about Stephen Sondheim. The video is called Sondheim Was Not a Genius. And if you don't know who Stephen Sondheim is, uh, or who he was, because he passed away last year, actually. Um, he was a playwright. He wrote um, a few very famous plays. I'm not... I don't know much about the world of musicals and musical theatre, but I did recently watch um, the film TikTok... Tick, Tick, Boom, not TikTok Boom. And uh, Stephen Sondheim was the inspiration for the character Andrew Garfield was playing, um, who, this is a terrible description. Basically, Stephen Sondheim was a very well-known uh, musical theater, songwriter, playwright, all that stuff. And he inspired other, um, you know, people involved in the world of musical theater. Jonathan Larson is the person that Andrew Garfield was playing. And he uh, was inspired by Stephen Sondheim. So. What Lena Norms talks about in this video is this idea of genius, right? The idea of the lone genius who works on something alone. Shout out to Stratica for redeeming Hydra, I appreciate it. Um, the idea of someone who works on something alone, they get no help, their inspiration just comes from their own mind and they create something from scratch and they have no help and they do it all along the way. And she talks about how that's really not how it was in Stephen Sondheim's life. If you look at his biography and look at his interviews. One, he was in a circumstance that when he was a child, he, uh, his friend, he was best friends to the kid of the man who wrote uh, The Sound of Music, one of the most popular plays of all time, right? So he was already in like a situation <laughs> which set him up to do well in musical theater if he pursued that path uh, just by having that inspiration there and just having the general you know proximity to it so that's like just an example of how circumstance helped him 
But also, you know, he doesn't just write these plays himself. A lot of times they're adaptations of past stories and those stories are adaptations of other stories. He has a lot of collaborators. I mean, if you look at any film, movie, even music productions, oh, film, play, music, whatever, it's rarely just one person on their own. Oftentimes there are loads of people behind the scenes bringing it all together. Um, and Sondheim wasn't someone who would be like, oh, it was all me. You know, it, he would always explain like, yeah, other people help with this. But generally speaking, when people talk about something that someone has made, they will talk about one person, right? They'll say, oh, this is the play by this person, knowing full well that a lot of people are involved in the creation process. But just to simplify it, they say it's one person. So that's <laughs> at this point, there's going to be no point in watching the video. No, no, no. I haven't even this is the I literally I haven't even scratched the surface. Her video just talks about this idea that genius isn't this elusive thing that certain people have and that you have to just be a certain way to create something great. It's that it's actually the result of a lot of people coming together and the result of a lot of adaptation. Sometimes you need to look at something you like and just try and make that, but maybe a little different. It doesn't need to be absolutely insane. You don't need to pursue originality. You just try and tweak something. And I watched this video and I really liked it. Um, and then it got me like on a bit of a roll. So then I watched this video. This was a TED talk. By the way, her name is Lena Norms. Do check out her channel. I think she's really great. Then it got me watching this video, which is called Your Elusive Creative Genius by Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, which I haven't read, but I've heard the name of the book before. So I guess that means it's uh, somewhat of a big deal. And yeah so te uh, it's a ted talk she talks about much the same idea that lena norms talked about in this video but her perspective is from the perspective of what happens when you create something <laughs> the simi's rabbit hole of the day <laughs> what happens when you create something that is the biggest um thing you'll ever make but you still have the rest of your life Right. And that's such an interesting idea. Like, let's say you're in any kind of creative field, you create something that does so well. There's really a very little chance that you're going to top it in terms of commercial success, notoriety, whatever. What do you do then? How do you deal with that pressure? And this video was really good because it explains the idea that it's not really your job to try and top the last thing you did and make it an even bigger success. And that, you know, you can't chase that spark that you got for that last thing the spark isn't something within you it's something that happens in a fleeting moment and if you get to experience it then great but it's not something you need to pursue and try to hold on to it's something that you allow it to flow through you in a sense and it's really sick honestly i i just really like that video um so this one's called the elusive genius by elizabeth gilbert i'm trying to show it but obviously the chat is in the way uh and it's a ted talk i'd recommend checking that out I'm so unbelievably lost right now and I've been listening the entire time. <laughs> oh man. Um, be honest, how much is she paying you? She's not paying me anything. Are you talking about Lena? Hey, if she wanted to, she could. Listening to Simi is so therapeutic, especially when you don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Dude, perfect. I'll read that message um, in a little bit. I'll read that in a little bit. I did see you posted it before, so I'll check that out in a bit. Kim saying to your club penguin story, basically. You know what? That's that's like something I wasn't thinking about that when I was watching these videos, but there was a time. Um, <sighs> hmm. See, here's here's the thing, right? The club penguin story. Yeah, there was a point where I was like, oh, am I going to make something that's better than the club penguin story? I don't know if I will. Um, and then in my opinion, I did like multiple times over. Um, but yeah, I remember when I made what what video when I made how to be a YouTube gamer, I thought that's it. <laughs> I'm not making a video that's better than that one. <laughs> and then I did. And then, yeah, when I made a clip in story, I felt similarly, but it was a bit lesser because I had already done it with how to be a YouTube gamer. And then the next I can't remember what the next video I thought was the best video I ever made was. Uh, maybe the Simpsons hit and run retro review I did. I was like, oh, I'm not going to do something better than this. 
but you kind of the more you do it the more you kind of realize oh crap yeah like even if a person might not think that any one video is better than another video i made at least i can look back and be like i actually prefer this video i'm making now to the video i made back then not because that was a bad video but because of where i'm at right now i just prefer what i'm doing now and that's a nice place to be in rather than feeling like there's this mountain that you reach the top of and there's no taller mountain like you're done even though you're still doing it you know even though you're still climbing you can't go higher that's not that's not a nice feeling and so i think it's um this video um elizabeth gilbert does and just the experience of making things and continuing to make things um i think it was a really nice video i mean i'm i'm sharing this i'm sharing this and kevin has posted an image um oh yeah my most popular videos page yeah yeah that's just a link to my most viewed videos if anyone wants to see that the hit and run video was good i only watched it only recently watched it all the way through thank you pip and bam bam i appreciate that um so yeah like i'm i'm mentioning this because i watched these videos and i was so inspired and i was just like if anyone makes things if you make youtube videos if you make music if you like to write hell even if you don't make things but just watching it is it, it can be quite an insightful experience last thing i'm gonna mention are these videos everything is a remix now i found the ted talk because lena norms mentioned it but i came to this video because after watching the first two i remembered watching something called everything is a remix a few years ago and it turns out the guy kirby ferguson who made everything is a remix back in like i think 20 oh 2012 it actually says it on my screen right here he made it back in 2012 and i meant to hide i meant to hide my chat not to show my face then just so you could see the title and stuff um he did a reboot of everything is a remix for 2021 and guys if you only watch i would say watch all of the videos i've recommended if they interest you if they sound interesting but if you only watch one watch everything as a remix part one it's 23 minutes but i'm telling you it's a very very fantastic 23 minutes um the idea of everything as a remix is again this idea that there's nothing original everything is derivative of something and it goes through the history of things being remixes films music memes just everything uh this first video focuses more specifically on music the second video focuses more specifically on memes and film the next video will focus on i don't know what the next video focuses on to be honest because uh he hasn't put it out yet this video only came out in december last year and before that was september last year so on that rate hopefully by april of this year we will have the next part or march of this year we'll have the next part i just wanted to say it's a really good set of videos even the original everything is a remix from 2012 is good check out kirby ferguson i just wanted to i'm demanding a lot of your time listen you don't have to watch everything i'm just making recommendations i think they're great videos i think you get something out of them that's that for me we're gonna get into the game people uh <laughs> Would you consider yourself as a remix of anyone? Any inspirational people? I, so I talk about, uh, whenever I post a membership like director's commentary, I do talk about people who like, I, or videos I saw that sort of informed a video I made, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I, I've had a lot of inspirations in terms of like the style I've approached with making certain videos. Um, I, I can give this example because I talked about this in my nostalgia director's commentary. But there was this video I watched um, from the New York Times uh, by Breakwater Studios. Uh, let me pick it up real quick. It's about Kim Hill from the Black Eyed Peas. Now, if the name Kim Hill doesn't ring a bell, it's because Kim Hill was the first lead vocalist in the Black Eyed Peas before Fergie joined. Um, and I saw this video. I saw this video and I don't want to, I won't play too much of it, but a lot of people 
in the comments of my nostalgia video were like, damn, the camera is so zoomed in. This is uncomfortable because I had it like really set on my face. The reason I had it like that <laughs> was because I saw this video and I was so inspired. I was like, I want to try and do this. Have I muted YouTube? I have muted it. Okay, wait. They got rid of the black girl, that they never made a part of the band, and then they got the white girl, and they made her a part and they blew up. It's like, no, that's not how it happened. I just love the editing, the sound mixing, the music, the cuts, LA, everything they in did. in the 90s. And the framing as well. Like so the framing, it was so intimate. You, It's like really focused on her face. This is essentially an interview. And they like really zoomed the camera in on her face here. And I was like, and they had the blurred out background, quite a lot of bokeh. I just liked it so much that I was like, I, I want to make a video that makes me feel the way this video made me feel. And I didn't pull it off with the nostalgia video. I'm, I, I pulled something off. It wasn't this. But that's the nature of like making things. You're not going to make the thing <laughs> that you're trying to make. But whatever you land on then becomes its own thing. Um, so that's an example of like just direct inspiration. So yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, there's a, literally a two hour long director's commentary on the making of my nostalgia video. If you want to check that out, just become a member. <laughs> Didn't even know Fergie wasn't the original vocalist. Yeah, I did not know either until I watched that video. Uh, the video is called Almost Famous, uh, Kim I Am. New York Times opinion if you want to watch that video as well it's really good I have like a playlist of just videos that I'm like yo that was a sick video just to inspire me and stuff like that Kevin saying you'd love Summer of Soul Summer of Soul is that uh, a film oh a documentary okay I'm gonna I'm add this to my watch later thank you Kevin added it to the watch later I'd like to think I perfected dying on screen today. <laughs> well, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it, Kevin. Not that I want to see you die, but hey, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, Bugs from Safeway, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Good to have you. Um, I'm super close to... Hi, I'm super close to the camera, like too close. And welcome to the Disney Channel. Time for another show. Hi. I'm Tamago2474, and you're watching Disney Channel. Oh, wait, you're supposed to do the thing after you say you're watching Disney Channel. Whatever, man. Whatever, we out here. Dude, perfect. Have patience. I'm in a conversation, bruh. <laughs> Summer of Souls, directed by Questlove. Oh, damn, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. Um, Toyota Camry, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That's two subscribers today. I appreciate that a lot of people. Thank you, thank you. The reason you had it like that is because you don't know how to zoom out. <laughs> All right, let's load up uh, Let's load up this game. I've actually got it loaded, so I just need to switch over my screen and then we'll get it going. Hell freaking yes. I appreciate it too, the camera. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, perfect. <laughs> What's going on? I already I just said wait. And you're still asking about the message. This makes me not want to read the message, dude. Perfect. Like, you can't keep asking about it. Um, time to go guess into the game before nine twice in a row. I know, it's insane, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Alright. Updating the category, and I gotta switch over my screen, so bear with me just one second. Oh, and I know the loading in this game is gonna take forever, so I'm gonna just load it up right now. How far am I into the story? We just found out that there was that zero dawn was some initiative meant to prevent the robot apocalypse the robocalypse as you might call it um and we're trying to figure out what zero dawn is so yeah pretty interesting pretty interesting um 
Okay, dude, perfect. Now post your comment. Post your comment now. I'll read it now. <laughs> Kevin saying, what do you think of my impact discord? I'd let gravity do its thing. And I think, wait, wait, wait. What do you think? Oh, you're t it's a video thing. Oh, I'll check that out later on, Kevin. I'll check that out later. It's to do with the uh, movie or the video you're making, right? Um, you're playing Bloons to Tower Defense 6. There was a boss event. Uh, boss is really slow, has an absurd amount of HP. Uh, you went to zero lives, you paused the game, then you made the worst decision you could have made. You exited to home, you lost the save data since you had zero lives. So you wasted 25 minutes doing nothing. At least it wasn't on tier 5. You know what? 25 minutes of progress lost. While it can hurt, ultimately, that's okay. You know, I feel like you can live with 25 minutes. You know what I mean? I feel like you can live with 25 minutes, bro. <laughs> but yeah, sorry to hear about that, man. It, it do be like that sometimes. Feels bad, man. Bro, it's a, it's a file I have to download as well, Kevin. Bro, uh, I'll check that out in a bit. <laughs> I have reason to suspect that Simi is a Joy-Con boy. I freaking, I love Dedica, man. Rest in peace, Dedica, man. It's just, I love Dedica, bro. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. Um, increases the time a machine will remain overridden. I want the heavy spear attack still increased damage when Aloy's health is low. I mean, cool, I guess. But I really just want the double shot. Actually, no, wait, that's not what I wanted. I wanted, ah, cool mount plus. I want cool mount plus. Today's Wordle was BS. Today's Wordle? What was today's Wordle? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can understand it maybe being um, a bit annoying. I pers Personally, for me, though, I was like... I think I, I got it in four. I got it in four. But, yeah, it's not the most common of words. That's fair. Madeline, what's good? Oski saying, Simi, I lost my AirPods case. Can you help me, please? Oski, let me know what I can do to help you. And I will calmly and carefully explain to you why it cannot happen. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not joking, actually. I really can't help you. But I hope, I hope that you um, are able to recover them at some point. You have the AirPods, though, at least. At least it's not the AirPods themselves that are gone. So that's good. Just the yellow AirPods, where are you? Kevin, you didn't even know. You didn't haven't even heard of the word and you got it in three. Rare. Well, nice. Nice. I mean, I, I know the word and I got it in four. So. <laughs> yeah, these are going to be. These won't be hard to take out. Yeah, pretty simple to take out. Here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna use the trip caster, so we'll replace the we'll replace the sling with the trip caster. Because what I wanna do is uh, set up some fire traps if I can get them to come running for me. Um Okay, now we're gonna try and see how effective this is. I don't know, I prefer to keep my distance, so, um... Alright, let's get that off of you.
Can I even shoot that off? Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> I didn't even see that. Holy crap. Oh, man. Violet, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Okay, we'll do that again. That's why you use the freeze on enemies. Okay, okay, that's, that's fair. I should freeze them beforehand. Um, I'll give the Rattler a proper, a proper chance. I feel like I haven't given it like a, you know, a very proper chance yet, so I will. Mm. Yeah, forget about the trip class though. Let's just go ahead with what we've got now. Maddening, you almost done with season one? Nice, nice. I watched Succession. I started Succession in... I think it was 2020 I saw it. I can't remember at this point. It might have been last year. Um, but yeah, no. It's quite the experience, honestly. Crap, I didn't know you had that kind of range on that attack. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of crazy. There we go. All right, let's, uh, I wanna con I want those things to continue burning. So I'm not gonna ruin that. back I can take this thing out in like one hit all right well one hit that it hits something important you know what I mean not just any one hit now hello Hell. Crap, I was trying to trying to see if I could do a heavy hit. The answer is no, no I can freaking not. Let me uh let me employ oh right over your turret mate, how do you feel? Holy crap, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. 
I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. Come on. Whew. My goodness. That was too much. Leviathan, I see you in there. If I see the word succession one more time, I'm blocking everyone in the chat in succession. Bruh. <sighs> Thank you, Twitch user. I appreciate it. Wait, we've got a tier ranking for the succession characters by Madeline. Let me see this real quick. Uh huh. Oh, um, okay. Uh huh. Okay, uh huh. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, interesting list. <laughs> I won't say anything, obviously. I'm not trying to spoil. But, you know, interesting list. Huh. Nice. Where's the other uh, Ravager? Was it a Ravager? The other big guy I took down. Whatever the flip they're called. Ah, there we go. Is Succession a film or series? It's a series TV show by HBO. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to clear that corrupted area. We're still focusing on trying to do these uh, side mission things, though. We still have some more corrupted areas I could clear in order to level up, though. That's the thing, you know what I mean? But let's stay focused on the mission at hand. In fact, what mission am I doing? Aloy de delves the ruins of the U.S. Robot Command to learn more about Project Zero Dawn. If she can discover the weapons Elizabeth Sobek used to defeat the ancient robot plague, maybe she can wield them herself. Ooh! Wow! Uh, and we have this one. Let's just do the Grave Horde one right now. Let's focus on that. So we'll just fast travel there. BBBT Jew saying, play Dying Light 2. You know what? It is on the list. It is on the list. Madeline's ain't gotta go, but stay safe and warm, everyone. Madeline, thanks for tuning in. We will catch you later. You stay safe and warm yourself. Toyota Camry, I have watched Daredevil. I was a fan. Big show. No, I was a fan. Good show. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> got cancelled, but um, I very much enjoyed that show. Leviathan, thanks for the demon hydrate. So you're gonna like my new clip. Yeah. The one you sent on Discord, yeah? Oh wait, this clip? Oh. <laughs> Just a Twitch clip. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, uh huh. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, um, okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's continue on. How many shards do I have? 1,238. Oh, I actually almost have enough to get that upgrade I wanted. Where did I get all of these reward boxes from? Probably got them for completing a mission or something. Easier when I was a kid. <sighs> They're inside too. Oh. Locks it 
Wow, really? Whoa, okay, you know what? You are serious. My bad. <sighs> Feel like this is gonna be the new na 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 na, but uh <laughs> nah mate, nah. <laughs> This game just looks like it's too much for my brain to process. <laughs> what, you mean in terms of all like the particles and stuff or what? The combat, the HUD is insane. Oh, I mean, yeah, there is like a lot and you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, I guess, especially this menu. I mean, Jesus. Um, but th you don't worry about that. I just worry about that. You you focus on you focus on the story. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. You guys are you guys are special cases, to say the least. She's coming for us. That does it. Does I don't know why this dude suddenly can't die to a simple headshot, to be honest, but okay. Sumi, where are you reading all these messages from? I can't see any. Oh, 50, you may have to refresh your page. <laughs> Because I did see you writing like, yo, why is the chat so empty? <laughs> and I was like, what you talking about, bro? Have I played any of the Watch Dogs games? I have not. I have not. Um, Watch Dogs 2 looks pretty interesting to me. But I, I did not play that, no. Whatever it was, doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Anyway, <laughs> Phoenix boy, you just finished the Watch Dogs game. Which one were you playing? Oh, you were saying just finished up one. So like, is in Watch Dogs one? Never know when I might need these. Victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> so, do I have to like swing it? It's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Alright, I'm just gonna. Yes, alright. I was just wondering. I wasn't sure, you know. I'm not sure what I'm listening to right now. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's Heart, I guess. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar. And projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burb to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Place? Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks. Yeah, there are a million and one audio force. logs here. The I'm not going to be listening to all of we these, but combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived. We can collect them anyway. To pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. The furnishings were nothing yeah. worse than the ones who actually bought oh, into it. Comfortable. Hopeful, pestering us with questions world. about zero dawn, That's like no we know something they don't. I swear. I hate that, like, I'm just going to stop playing these audio logs because, like, as they play, Halo is also talking. It's just a lot to take in. Especially if I'm talking to... Um, 
the first one was great in your opinion. You start as just some guy with a pistol and make so much progress by the end of the campaign. Sounds sounds good. I mean, that sounds like uh, you know the progress you would hope to make in a game. But I'm glad you had a good time. Toyota Cami, you got to bounce. We'll catch you later, bro. Where am I headed to? Oh yeah, this was already like a detour from where I was supposed to go. Oh. Um. Okay, down here, I guess. I will examine the door in a moment. Oh, that's informative. Hmm. I'm very glad I uh, grabbed on to the ladder that I could have been quite disastrous. Ah, oh, this is going to be some puzzle I need Maybe to do. I should try scanning objects in this area. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Okay. Let's just turn it like this and then that goes to the bottom three power lines resources that makes one i was hoping i had remembered the order correctly imagine if like i didn't even try to examine that joke so i wonder if uh <laughs> i'm even doing this the right way <clears throat> Is it going to be the exact same thing? North, uh, east, west, south. No. I need to find another one for here. These wires must run to the power source. Oh, I think the door is probably like... Yeah, it's going to say it needs power or something, right? That's probably why I would need to go down there. Light. Okay, yeah. Guess that means no power. So I was just getting ahead of myself. Climb, please. Okay, so the clue for that one was pretty simple. The rest of these might not be so easy. Okay, that one is still working. Oh, it's because you blocked everyone, bruh. <laughs> oh, man. Dedicated to the bit, as usual, 50. Okay, let me quickly see that, um... Code Nexus reminder. Okay, um... Bird flies north summer, east in spring, west in fall, south in winter, yes, yes, yes. So, as for the other ones, I mean, north, east, west, wait, wait, what? Oh, I got it. Okay. East, this one needs to be west, and then this is south, but they're not all going to have the same code, are they? Yeah, I wouldn't think so.
something I gotta figure out here. Oh, this. Okay, I thought this was where I was supposed to be. Might not be. Luma, what's good? I can't believe they made a whole game about the Fortnite skin Aloy. Is Aloy in Fortnite? I mean, it's not. Oh, flipping out. It's not too surprising, but I I didn't know she was in this game. Oh wait, is this explaining? It's up, up, down, down. Oh, okay. So that one legit just had the answer right next to it. What happened to this one? Huh. May have been glitched out. Not long after Kratos was added. Ah, so they're just going for the PlayStation catalog, I see. Alright, what's this one? Hmm. Up, down, left, right. So up, down, left. And for this one, right. There we go. Now let's try and make this jump. Why? <laughs> Why can't you grab onto that, Aloy? Please answer me. I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan Drake is added to Fortnite since the movie's coming out. True. I wouldn't be surprised either. That makes sense. Oh, wow. We're going to get into a fight, aren't we? to see who's like an easy shot from here. All right, I see your head. We've got intruders. Oh crap, they all saw me. Who who what are you? Okay, you're like a bit dangerous, aren't you? Die apostate. Call me an apostate? What is this? The Last of Us? <laughs> okay, my bad. Oh, they're heavies. They're holding heavy the weapons. Alright, well. I think a bit of fire can't handle. I forgot that humans' weaknesses are fire. Amongst a lot of other things. Who am I even... Wow, that was like incredibly effective. <laughs> that was so effective, I'm just like, all right, next time I know what to do, just uh, light them on fire. Makes sense, people don't like fire generally. Uh, or at least when it's being used as a weapon. Hey there. Okay. You're okay. Okay, I've got some health potion. That's good. Pick up the minigun. I mean, I'm kind of in the clear now, so there's no need. <laughs> I did unlock the um, ability to be able to move faster with heavy weapons, though. And I missed out on a couple of things in here, apparently. 
My nose is itchy. Haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn. Wait, where's my tissue? I haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn consistently in ages. I enjoyed what I played of it, but I keep jumping around different games in my backlog at this point. Yeah. Actually, like, completing games, you know, does require you to commit, isn't it? <laughs> That's why, like, streaming these games is really good for me. Wait, where's that gun? Why can't I pick it up anymore? Where it's underneath the ground. I couldn't pick it up if I wanted to. Um, yeah, that's why, like, streaming the games is really good for me. Because at least I, you know, have a regular set time to play them, to play them right? What you got planned this weekend, Sammy? And no worries, I didn't ask because Dune is already out of IMAX feeders again. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Um, okay, I've actually got a fairly interesting weekend ahead. Um, it's my brother's birthday party this weekend, so that'll be cool. Um, and so that'll be on Saturday. On Sunday, I'm going to be on a podcast uh, that one of my friends from secondary school runs um, called the Kazi Cast. And funnily enough, Simba from the Unverified podcast produces that podcast too um so simba is a proper podcast here and Thank yeah that's what i'm going to be that's what i'm going to be uh working on over the weekend i'm going to be appearing on that so that should be pretty fun fighting with the civilian in this oh kevin yeah my brother's birthday was last weekend um it was last weekend but the party is this weekend Yeah, no. The last weekend I was just hanging out with friends. And uh, yeah, I took an extended weekend what for that too. This? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. <laughs> it's not flat like you thought. <laughs> Why would I think that? Yeah. During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. Ooh, looks like logic, this. let's go. We'll discuss this Take that time. flat earthers. Back to the matter at hand. <laughs> the Faro robots were spreading across the world. Oh. Eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Okay. Um, watch out you, don't get cancelled for organizing parties while crossing mandate rules. <laughs> no worries, bro. We, we, we're following the rules out here. When you're streaming, it's also a social experiencing, social experience while playing the games too. Yeah, true. I used to, like, think that, you know, if you streamed while playing a story game, it would just kind of distract you from the game. But after playing quite a few, um, story games on stream... It's been pretty chill, to be honest. Open the door, please. Rax, what's good? How you doing? Oh, what is this? The eclipse tampering with the metal devil that's the metal devil bruh but they don't think they can wake it do they well they won't be able to once i make them go to sleep you know what i mean oh they what is that they just released the death bringer These guys being so extra. Stop waking up these machines. Mm. 
You know what song I have stuck in my head right now? I don't even know the name of it. It's just a Kanye West song and it's like, Can we get much higher? That one. First strike. That's stuck in my head. Whoa, you saw me? Bruh. Flipping hell, are you kidding me? All right, weakness is fire and electricity. I'm gonna get rid of these. There's no hiding from this thing. Oh, okay. Okay, it literally just freaking uh, destroyed the platform I was standing on. Good to know it can do that. Good to know. Got to keep moving, indeed. <sighs> I want to take out all of those um, human enemies quickly. And then we're just going to focus on destroying that thing. Yes, we've seen it. Skip. And this one can move. Alright, you gone. You gone. You gone. Where's your friend? I swear that was another one of you. Oh, there we go. You gonna come out on the other side? No! <laughs> I rolled off the edge again. What the hell? Well, I didn't do that the first time, but I ended up falling again. Metal Devil is definitely the name of a mid-2000s metal boy band. Oh, for sure. Metal Devil. I feel like we can even go earlier than 2000s. Playing The Last of Us really changed your perspective on streaming games, in it? It did. It did. I mean, because obviously, I, yeah, I did play The Last of Us Part 2 live. Now, here's the thing. I played Red Dead Redemption 2 live as well. So I have played like a big story game live. Um... But especially with The Last of Us, a game where it's like, you know, the game was so important to me. I didn't want to be talking while playing it. I just wanted to play it and experience it. And the fact that streaming it didn't actually like make my experience unenjoyable. That was big for me because I was like, oh, I can actually stream games and still have fun. Oh, I thought I was a ladder. I thought I was a ladder, bro. No, I keep doing that. I need to get down to the ground. I legit need to get to the ground. <sighs> I'm on my third playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. I'm doing an evil playthrough and it's mad fun. <laughs> nice one, Luma. Nice one. How many streams did it take to get through Red Dead Redemption 2? I think... um. My guess would be like about 60 streams. My guess would be 60 streams. Um, are you going to stream GTA 6 when it comes out? Can't believe a phrase like that isn't a joke anymore. Oh yeah, they did announce that they're working on Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stream it when it's out. I mean, depending on when it comes out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do hope to scream it. Alright, I can rappel down from here. I cannot see that well. Who else we got? Got you. What? Come on. I can't even see this. 
Oh, that's a robot. What? I repelled. That's bull crap. I pressed the repel. Bull crap, and I don't accept it. But it doesn't matter right now because um, this thing's about to kill me. I remember how to kill this. I remember how I'm supposed to do this. I swear I'm supposed to like shock. I'm supposed to shock it and then it opens up its chambers. This is terrible. This is terrible. I need to I need to remain on a higher level for Okay, okay, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Kill the humans. Bombard the hell out of the Deathbringer. Okay? Bombard it with bombs. Uh and then unleash. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I've got everything I need. So increase. I mean I don't need the harvesting right now. Give me some hard points. Fire, because fire is just one of its weaknesses. Okay, this will do me well. This, this boss, yeah, it's bringing back tribe trauma. <laughs> um, do they allow people to stream from retirement homes? Why not? Why not? I think they'll probably reveal the game with a trailer slash teaser in quarter four this year and then start the marketing around quarter two or three in 2023 and release in quarter three or four of 2024. Yeah, that sounds pretty realistic, honestly. That sounds pretty realistic. I could see it happening like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That went off way to the side. Are you kidding me? <laughs> The, the reticule was on his head and it just went completely haywire. No. Oh my god. I did not want to roll off the edge. What coils have I got on the Rattler? Oh, I'm releasing too early. Is that why the ac is it like the accuracy is not there? Okay. That makes sense. Um... I've got, let's see what I've got. Uh, the snow one, the armor one, and the, uh, just the damage one. In GTA Advance is probably the worst game I've played by Rockstar. GTA Advance. I haven't heard of it. You want damage maxed on the Rattler because you got the elemental weapons on the sling. Okay, you know what? Fair point there.
My goal is to destroy that one thing up there. Just destroy that. That's the only thing I'm trying to do right now. I will destroy it. I will destroy it. Whoa! You absolute dickhead. <laughs> You're not even part of this fight. Like, you could have gone home. I would have let you live. But no, you just wanted to be involved. This is like in the movies where, like, everyone's going to go on an adventure. And this one guy's like, hey, can I come? And then he goes and gets himself killed. And it's like, you weren't even supposed to be here, you asshole. You could have just been at home chilling, but no. Look out my arrows. <laughs> I didn't realize they were just sticking out of it like that. I actually destroyed it at last. You know, I might as well light on fire again. Okay, so I lit you on fire, now you're lighting me on fire, yeah? It's only fair. It's only fair. Okay, we did it, we did it. We established a strategy that worked. I said a hundred of those. Okay, a hundred of those would be a bit of a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, should have shocked the machine instead of burning it, not gonna lie. Fair. But hey, it got the job done. And I'm happy. Because I do remember on the last one, when you shocked it, it revealed something. But when I shocked it this time, I didn't see any, like, yellow stuff get exposed. Gotta get my harvests before I leave, you know what I mean? Do you think you'll try out the expanded, enhanced version of GTA Online? I'm not that into GTA Online. I, I, I played it a bit when it was it came out. You know, I played it a fair amount when it came out because I really enjoyed GTA 4 Online. Uh, so I was playing it with my friends for a bit, you know, the GTA Online. But after like about two months, I was kind of done. I was like, okay, I've, I've played it now. <laughs> um... It is still a fun game to hop into with friends because it's it's like it's just like an open world kind of city, isn't it? Um, but I, I don't really play like that anymore. Um, I feel like when I was playing GTA 4 online, it was literally just, hey, let's just hang out, but in GTA. So it's just an opportunity to hang out with my friends, but also we're driving around our cars in GTA. That was the vibe of GTA online for me. But... Um, yeah, that's kind of like an after-school vibe, and I just don't do that anymore. So, yeah. He simply doesn't play with anyone anymore. <laughs> well, I will say I play multiplayer a lot less than I did. I, I, I do play a lot less, just because um, I spend more time doing other things. Like, well, working on my videos and all that stuff, so, yeah. Um, but, no, nah, I had very good times playing... GTA 4 online and for like the first few months GTA online as well Very fun times Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat what? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option We should all be thanking her no, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. 
You saw the numbers. Now I am, Pharaoh, he'll fuck the I am bill, becoming but his one. Money this guy. The time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That. That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow. Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this. We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. Hmm. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? What? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Okay, we still don't know what Zero Dawn Dr. is. Sobek. I've secured use of a but they want to arm everybody. Base outside Bryce, Utah, as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them. Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Huh. So they armed people against oh, the robots. What is that? See, I'm just trying to think like in real life, if you can arm everybody oh, to fight the robots, <laughs> we're just going to be fighting each other. To be honest, the, ro the robots won't even have to do anything. <laughs> they give us all guns. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. <laughs> Bro, I was like, what is this angle <laughs> that I'm climbing at? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across know what the a network from end is. to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? You have to uninstall the router. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> it's not that simple. I'll need some time to work out the details. So what am I supposed to do? Wait around? I'm sure you have other matters to attend to. I'll be in touch. Wait. Silence. Other matters to attend to. Well, well you do have other main help. missions. And I'm not far from Noroland. Guess that's my next step. Cool. Um... Oh wow, I've got five skill points. Let's freaking go. Have you tried unplugging and replugging the router? Unplug the Ethernet. See, these are all great suggestions that they really should have taken. Um You're saying there might be a power cell here, but you're not sure. Um I still don't know what these power cells are for, but if it's a spoiler, then don't tell me. It doesn't really seem like there's anywhere to go. <laughs> like this seems like it would just kill it's me heavy. if I fall through a hole. The world's going white. 
Ah! Flipping hell. I didn't even... Dude, like, where am I? <laughs> you know what, F it. Wow, she... Did you see that? She folded, man. <laughs> she freaking folded. The armor level 25 mission I told you yesterday. What what about it, Kevin? Oh, the freaking that's what the um okay, okay, okay. That's what the power cells are for. Right, right. Oh, I can can I swing down on this? I, I guess I'm just supposed to use boss. Now, how am I going to oh. get down from here? Huh. This should be quite the rod. Ooh, this is fun. What? Oh my god. Okay, Aloy. Okay. <sighs> I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. It's time to make the killers from the proving pay for what they did. That's such a abrupt thematic change, Aloy. What's going on? <laughs> you are happy one moment, the next make them pay for what they did. Oh, <sighs> How many shards do I have? I have enough to get that weapon. All right, we're going to go to the merchant here and then to the metal flower here. I don't know what a metal flower is for, but we will find out. <laughs> that spine must be gone when she folded, right? <laughs> I was just like, bro, the ragdolling is amazing. What animals are those? Scrappers. Sounded like what's this? Lance on. <sighs> Hello. Let's trade. You got a free sample for me? Thank you very much. Okay, I would like to buy actually no. Why did I what did I want again? <laughs> What did I want? Hold on, hold on. Quests, errands. Um. Oh, I need a snapball heart and a trampler heart. Oh, I think I already bought everything I wanted to buy before. I guess. So. Now it's just okay. Well, let's see what you've got anyway. So there's a shadow sling here. Hmm. Oh, I have one. I, I literally already have this. Yeah, no need, no need. Outfits. So this is like elemental protection. This is my stealth build. This is my, uh, just to protect against those like, uh, corrupted ones. This is my, uh, ice protection. I might as well just get all of these, to be honest. Like, there's no no reason not to. But um, as far as, like, right now, I don't think it's necessarily worth me buying anything from here. Let me just see if I've got anything I can sell real quick. I wish I could, like, there was a button for automatically selling items that can only be sold. You know? It's like, might as well just automatically sell those. Can you buy coils? Doesn't seem like you can. Maybe if you get these special modification boxes, then, then that's how you can get coils. I don't think you can get, like, specific ones. This'll drop you. 
Oh, wow. I was like, did someone just try to shoot me? I wasn't sure. So, yeah, who's angry with me? Oh. Okay, well. Sure. Where'd you go? What do you mean where'd I go? I'm right here. Whoa, my potions pouch is full? No freaking way. Unbelievable. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Where would I even be? Resources? Nope. Traps and potions. Oh, I already have max health potion. Interesting. Wow. I want, I want to hold more. I think the metal flowers are just random collectibles, to be honest. Okay. Hold on, what, what quest has it got me marked to do? Revenge of the Nora. I could do that. I am tempted to uh, try and help that guy's family. Because they're being held captive and all that. I am tempted. Man killed enemy and civilian. <laughs> I killed a civilian. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Listen, you can't be running towards me. I have no way of telling which is which. So just like, watch out, it. That's all I can say. Just watch out. No matter where you are. You really saying I should max the rattle of damage? Okay, might be um, might be the move to make them. Just waiting for that fast travel. Oh wow, rabbit right here! Hey, 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 hey. chill. Thank you. Save okay. this for Oh. These are pretty big. Alright, so I'm gonna take the antidote. And we will light these things on fire. Oh, wow. These are just a bunch of charges. Relax.
Thank God. Patience, please. Get out. Like that one was protected by the rock wall, but we did it anyway. And I think I have enough upgrade points for two upgrades, so that's good. So me, I had rabbits. <laughs> rabbits as pets, man. Come on, listen, bro. The that rabbit wasn't your pet. Sorry, that one wasn't your pet. A pack of shit storm tour day five. Grace warms open for turtle smash the night I OD'd here. Or so the police report said, anyway. I was 15 years old. Oh, I think I ended the audio recording when I was just trying to pick up the plant. Well, I didn't care about your story anyway, bro. Sorry. Okay, corrupted area cleared. And we'll make our way to the mission. Combat override. Combat override plus. And then I'll be able to get cool mount. Approach the eye and open the vantage case. Oh yeah, I already did that, right? Yeah. How relaxing. Oh, hey. Don't worry, I won't kill you. I will simply life end you. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. It's a circle of life. Life begets life. You're getting pretty good at this. Thank you very much. Or two. I don't have to, but I do enjoy it. I'm turning back. Ow. Please refrain. Understand it was nothing personal. It was all in good fun. I may have been the only one having fun, but you have to believe me. Is there armor I can remove? Yeah. I need this thing a bit more exposed, you know? Yeah, the combat is really satisfying. It is very satisfying, I'm going back. <laughs> You're going to Amsterdam, Kevin. Ooh, nice, bro, nice. What's it for? Is it for a film-related thing? Oh, hey there. Please, oh mother, remember her well. She was the best. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Oh, I forgot Don't this guy. Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief. Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps. 
and our animes in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send Braves to each camp to lie in wait. What you start, they'll help finish. Okay. Bro, why is it so far away? <coughs> I forgot this guy, see me when he hears the name Kevin in 10 years. Damn, Kevin. You think I forget about you, bro? 10 years ain't even that long. Can a man just go, not go on a trip to Amsterdam with his friends without being film related? Of course, Kevin. I just don't believe that to be the case. <laughs> but no, nah, have fun, man. something all right give me your bones give me your skin raccoon nothing I will still eat your meat so your death would not be in vain I am a thoughtful person after all it's a fox if these things eat biomatter why don't they attack the fox Let's get some headshots. You on? Wait, where are you going? Flipping out. They're calling me over here. I don't know who's on my side and who's not. ones are on my side. Heavy attack is so freaking nice. Are you an enemy? Nope. You an enemy? Nope. Sorry, I almost killed you. That was an accident. You're not an enemy. I kind of wish they wouldn't help me. Like, I don't need you. <laughs> now I'm just confused as to who I need to attack and who I don't need to attack. Enough. All right, thanks for your help, guys. Bye. Want some boars over here? Oh, did the other one run away? Perhaps, or maybe it just wasn't ever as close as I thought it was. Need them soon enough. Get more ammo for this. You know, since I'm not necessarily needing to craft anything right now, I will just refill all my ammo.
And there we go. You're not going to be the one to stop me. No alerting anybody now. little plant. You'll help. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is this? Camp alarm. Oh, okay. Who's there? You didn't see anyone. It's quite far, but ah, uh, oh, they went behind the rock. I can't see them. Ha, <laughs> let's go. Awesome. Don't mind me. Seen the body. Dead. Yeah, I know, right? There. Crazy. Victory. What are you talking about? We. What are you talking about? We did it. <laughs> that was a, that was a solo action right there. space oh I can't carry the rocks I don't ever use the rocks anyway <laughs> let me just see what this person has <sighs> okay only one more to clear Was that a fox? Yeah. Um, I don't need to kill it, to be honest. Oh wow, you know what? Ah, nah. I was gonna let. I was gonna be like, you know what? Since I missed, we can go. But I changed my mind. So <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. It's unfortunate. Uh, you know, I I never claimed to be great with animals. Uh, we just have to accept that's just the way it is. Sorry. Turkey and a boar. And a raccoon. running away from me. It's okay, I can leave. Not particularly interested in it right now. I'm gonna stick to the mission. Back in black toy to Camry, welcome back, welcome back. Okay. 
more enemies about. Headshots do feel good. I wish there was haptic feedback on the arrows in this game. Obviously, it's a PS4 game, but um, with the PS5 update it got, I wish it would have added that haptic feedback. No biggie, no. Come on, mark him. Legit, it's so dark, I can't actually see where the head is. Okay, it's a fight now. Alright, well, we will get out of this. And then rejoin the fight. Oh my god. You and your damn haptic feedback. Mies, you know I love my haptic feedback, man. It, it really adds to the experience. These controllers don't sell for 60 pounds for nothing. Oh, okay, look at you. You're my teammate. You can't even handle a little bit of freaking action. What's wrong with you? I, I just love that heavy attack. It's so overly effective. <laughs> I actually do wish they made it even more OP, like if it could just be faster. Because that, that loading up swing is a bit much, you know. Who's still hitting me after all this? You haven't given up yet? You really don't know any better, do you? Look at this. Heavy attack. Don't stop heavy attacks. That's all I need to do. Oh, I'm used up my health potion. Okay. There we go. Not used up, I had like a full capacity. No! Yeah, I'm looting in the middle of this, I don't care. I'll let them do the fighting for me. Looking good. For delegation. You don't use all your energy when you don't need to. Are they just trying to kill one person? If I understand this correctly. All this uh, kerfuffle is over one person. How many of you are there that you can't kill this one person? Sorry, let me just... Uh... There's at least four of you against this one person. Are you really so ineffective? I'm, I'm disappointed. Okay, finally, they did it. Finally. Are you streaming on PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, I'm streaming on PlayStation 5. Once I got my PS5 and played like two different games, I couldn't play without it. <laughs> it's nice. The haptic feedback is nice. You know, I wouldn't say I couldn't play without it, but it's freaking nice. I mean, bro. It's freaking nice. Um, oh, yeah. Where am I meant to go now? 258 meters or feet. Can I fast travel though? Nope. Did I hear a raccoon? No. Wow, loads of foxes. Is this their hangout time? I mean, foxes do hang out at night. That's their thing, isn't it? Damn, we got a bunch of corrupted... This isn't even a corrupted area. Why have we just got corrupted watches all around? Hey, Fox. What's good? Resistance is futile. That'll keep my stomach quiet. 
<laughs> I ain't even going to eat you. Um, I can, is that, no, that's still the turkey. Why did I think the turkey would have just turned into a raccoon? That's not how animals work. Actually, now that I think about it, caterpillars turn into butterflies. So that kind of is how animals work sometimes. <laughs> is that process, is it, is it called metamorphosis? Is that what that process is called? When, uh. The but the caterpillar turns into the. It is metamorphosis, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, might I'm just that. wondering if it had like an alternative name. And of course, all my knowledge of this comes from the very hungry caterpillar. You know, truly genre-defining book that. Genre being books you Ouch. read, books you hear your teacher read, but never pick up to read yourself, of course. Your thoughts on Playboy Carti? I don't, I don't listen to Playboy Carti. I've heard him feature in a few songs I like, and he's always nice in his features. Um, but I don't actually know Playboy Carti songs. I've probably heard okay, Playboy Carti songs, but I'm not that familiar. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with that sounded Aloy sarcastic. I thought she was about to say but. Be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. <laughs> like, it sounded like she was being sarcastic when she said that. <laughs> the hungry cat yeah. caterpillar ship is a New York Times we bestseller. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually was. We'd love to catch the rest of the stream, but I've basically just got back home and I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, man. I hope you had a nice day at work, bro. Thank you very much. You have a nice night, bro. We'll catch you later on. I heard he was straight garbage, so I listened to one of his songs unironically, and then it went hard. Listen to that unironically for a while, bro. See, this goes to show that even hating on someone is just giving them promo. <laughs> you heard he was straight garbage. Garbage. And now you... Uh, enjoy his plan, music. Right? Like that's <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> oh man. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Farl. You'll know soon enough. See, that's why haters are your biggest appreciators, really. Because who else is gonna talk about you as passionately as your haters? Am I following this dude? I thought I was le the leader of this. Quite a few enemies about. This seems like a perfect, you should be able to climb this spot. But alas. Oh, I have to talk to this guy? Oh, okay. It's a cutscene climb. You don't need a leg up for that. It wasn't that high. Take my hand. Without reading lyrics, I have no clue what he's saying though. Toyota Camry, I completely understand. I completely understand, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, uh, he features in a uh, Tyler the Creator song, I think. Is, does he feature an earthquake? I think he does. And um, yeah, like I freaking don't know what the hell this dude's talking about either. Oh, so that's what you mean by take the one on the right. Only a few more. Oh, you were like going down there. Dude, you could have just arrowed him. Do you not have an, a bow? 
Are you really out here acting like a pleb without a bow? You really being basic like that? You don't get down and dirty these days. That's not the way it works. See, I took out two of them because I have a bow and arrow. You just walking around with your spear. What's going on? You really thought you did something, huh? How did you? How did you go? You take the left. Okay, I will once I figure out where I'm supposed to go. Am I missing a very obvious path? Oh, there's a climbable thing here. See, like the the fact that you can only climb the yellow things is throwing me off. Because it's not like the other things look unclimbable, you know? Looks like we're introduced. You need to be quicker, mate. Night Pro saying still haven't finished this, took me a week, but still. Wait, wait, Nipro, what took you a week then? Well, you're saying you've been playing for a week. In your terms, how long is a drive across town? Hmm. I mean, it depends on what the town is. It would be very specific to, like, the area. A drive across town. There. See that covered shelter? Drive Did across town? Probably, like... 10 Focus kilometers? <laughs> that shelter is full of blaze. A whole well, yeah, it depends island. how big the town is. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back, tell Sona the plan, and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. All right, cool, cool. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. Um, to finish this game, you're gonna focus on the main missions. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. If I <laughs> understood your message correctly. Not the way things were supposed to go. I need to set off the blaze before it's too late. I should be able to hit the blaze from here. All right, let's fight. Oscar nominations next Tuesday. Ooh. Okay. Cool, cool. You're really trying to hit me, huh? Shame for you. Dude, I don't know which ones are the enemies, so I'm just gonna light all of you on fire. It's nothing personal. Um, just very unclear who's bad and who's not. Sorry. Why did you kick me, you asshole? You're on my side. I'm allowed to not know which one is which, not you. Alright, someone is having an absolutely awful time, it sounds like.
All right, who else we got to deal with? Okay, you. You. Alright, there we go. All mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted, like these ruins. Ah, uh, no, I'm holding on to my weapons. Sorry. Aloy, we need to speak, and I must have your full attention. There's a campfire just south of the Ring of Metal. Go there and await my transmission. Okay, I was so now, when you'd show up. now it's time for a next mission from that guy. But he's gonna have to wait. Alright, first things first. Reload all my weapons. Um friendly should have an outline or something. Yeah, like they do have the um they do have the marker above them, but an outline would be more helpful. See me when reading next week's Oscar nominations. I have not seen this movie, but I've heard good things about it. Yeah, I mean, that is what it's going to be like. <laughs> that is what it's going to be like, for sure. Um, so we have Into the Borderlands now. So we'll do that before we continue with The Curse of Darkness. Move faster while wielding heavy weapons. Now nah, we're going to hold out so I can get the... Call Mount Plus, just so I can call them out wherever I am. That would be very helpful. Can't craft anything in my carry capacity. I wish I was just a Marcus Red function. Hey. What time is it? 10.20. Alright, we're going to come back to this tomorrow then. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do the next main mission. So I will spawn here. And then we'll ride out. I'm just happy the announcements are during the day and not at 5 a.m. Like the ceremony for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's next week. Did you say Tuesday? Oh, did I say tomorrow? My bad. I forgot that this was Friday, meaning the next stream will be on Monday. Damn. Okay. Okay. I want to play more of this game. I'm not going to lie, but we will, we will be resuming next week. Um, as far as Hollow Knight, I'm like really into this game now. So we'll continue Hollow Knight later. <laughs> We're going to keep playing <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn next week. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, is that, oh, okay, if I go to these, I can get a mount, which will help me get over, ah, oh, this mission location is so out of the way, can I do, like, a side quest first, which will then just help me level up, so I can get mount plus, like, I'm so close to being able to get it, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some side missions, um, let me do some side missions. So yeah, let's um. Oh, I need to go to a campfire. We'll go to this campfire. We'll save the game. We'll call it for the stream. I can reverse my meme now. Wait, what? What was? What was your meme? <laughs> He's saying do the side missions now. <laughs> Tempting, but alas, no. <laughs> I should not be chasing this fox. 
boom boom people thank you for tuning in it's been a lot of fun um i want to see this video that you sent kevin i'm gonna check this video out now let's see what what it is i'll, I'll show it on stream why not <laughs> All right. I'm always, unless you don't want me to show it on stream. If you don't want me to show it on stream, I won't. Let me know what you'd prefer. <laughs> um, I can. Okay, cool. I I'll show it on stream. I show it on stream. Cool. Uh, it's only four seconds anyway. But yeah, let's see what we've what we're working with here. Okay, thank you, mate. <laughs> I was wondering if my VLC was looping it or if that's what the video was doing. Okay. Um, fantastic. Fantastic acting, bro. Fantastic. I really thought you were dead, man. Um, which is quite traumatizing, honestly. So, good job. It's the impact I nailed. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening, but it's hype time. <laughs> that's truly perfect Kevin's saying I think I got a bruise damn you were committed to the bit Kevin respect respect let me give you guys that headset hair we'll see who we're gonna raid and then we'll call it for tonight's stream let's go Ooh. weak weak it feels like a three maybe it looks like a four though let's see I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Kevin saying four or three and a half. Too many wins saying three. Phoenix Boy saying four. Kevin saying nah, it is a three and a half. Yeah, I was looking at it for a bit. I was like, I think, yeah, uh, three and a half. Even I'm thinking three on it. Just because I don't think even the dip is kind of not a great shape itself. But I'll take a three and a half for it. Toyota Camry, yeah, we were talking about uh, Rockstar and uh announcement of gta 6 um which is funny i mean i feel like did they just do that to bolster investors because it was literally just a tweet saying yeah so we are working on the next gta pro project and that was it like no image no logo nothing it's like you didn't have to say this <laughs> so I i'm curious i'm curious why did i go to twitter to see who i'm gonna raid Simba is live right now, people. Go check out Simba. Until the investors call is next week. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, they're also tired of re-releases. Yeah, them and us both. <laughs> and I'm sure they want to make up for the disaster that was the remastered trilogy as well. Uh, Kim saying, have fun at the party. Thank you very much. Will do. Will do. You have a great weekend yourself, as well as everybody tuning into the stream. I appreciate the support, people. As usual, we'll be back on Monday. So make sure you get your posts in on r slash Tamago 2474 exclamation point Reddit in the chat. I'll be checking them out next Monday. Until then, you have a good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, whatever time of day it is for you. Stay tuned for the raid, and I'll catch you next week. Peace out, people. And bye-bye.